So here we have my new Pix Hawks uh, ready to go. Uh, just doing some bench testing right now. So I'll put the pretty little label on it. Um, right, so what do we got here? We have uh, the Pix Hawk itself. Um, I've also wired in the remote um, LED and USB port. And what this does, this connects via two wires to um, the I2C port for the LED and the USB port obviously for the USB and I'll just cover this up so it doesn't blind us and you can see there uh, the USB connector on the end and that flashing LED there is essentially uh, taken over from this one if I unplug that from the I2C then that one will start flashing again but the benefit of this is I can put it remote on the quad or sorry the hex shall I say and um, be able to access it without having to reach inside and of course the arming switch I'll need to find a home for that but otherwise I've got Argycopter 3.2.1 running on it um, oh sorry there's the I2C extender board um, the reason you need this if I'm using one of these uh, I need a spare I2C port to plug the magnetometer in the GPS itself uh, goes into GPS port which is that fella there so there we have it all set ready to go um, it's going to go into my Minimax hex and uh, that's the mounting board for it so to mount it in the hex basically just two screws and the board locates and then I can get on with the tuning and uh, get it up in the air no time flat no messing about so there we have it Pixhawk uh, this is the original one, 3DR, ready to go. Thank you.